no 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 that is so many ravens fans response whenever we talk about the ravens acquiring a significant addition and established wide receiver to go along with the guys that they got no 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 we have enough weapons already is a lot of other ravens fans response to that same topic but let me tell you somebody who says no 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 to you who disagree that would be one lamar jackson and I think, just maybe, Lamar Jackson, he knows a little bit about those wide receivers that the Ravens have. He knows a little bit about that Ravens offense, and he, he knows a little bit about what they could use to help take them over the top. Now, we've heard all the DK Metcalf rumors in the world, especially recently, and we've seen Tyreek Hill be traded. We've seen Devontae Adams be traded, uh, and it just gives you another reminder that nobody is safe. No player is safe. Anybody can be had for a certain price. And apparently that's what the rumor is with DK Metcalf right now. Because there was a report that came out just yesterday that apparently DK Metcalf can be had for the right compensation. That the Seahawks are willing to listen. Uh, so when I saw that, what that told me was that the Seahawks, they already got offers for DK Metcalf. But they want to try to see if they can get a little bit more. And somebody who wouldn't mind the Ravens sending an offer for one DK Metcalf. Well, me, of course, y'all already know. But the Ravens quarterback, the Ravens unanimous MVP, the Ravens guy who broke like 50 million records and he'll break 50 million more. Um, one of those being a contract record, but we could talk about that another time. Lamar Jackson. And he even reached out to DK Metcalf via social media, and he's trying to add recruiter to his resume. Will it work? Only time will tell. But anyway, let's see what Mr. Lamar Jackson had to say to DK Metcalf. He said, DK Metcalf, slide. And if you're not from Florida, what slide means is come over, come through, stop by. So he told him to slide. Anyway, he said, we got them guys, but... You can slide too. We welcome everyone here with open arms. You definitely one of them guys as well. So Lamar let it be known. Hey, we already got some playmakers at wide receiver. We already got some weapons, but you can be added to these weapons as well. And you would help make us that much better, that much better. And he would because we were Rashad Bateman. We were Rashad Bateman. We got, a jump ball type of wide receiver, the go up and get it type of wide receiver. And then with Hollywood, you got this speedy guy who, who is a deep threat. He's more than just a deep threat, but his specialty is being a deep threat. But then with DK Metcalf, you combine those two and you add about three inches of height. And that, that gives you a DK Metcalf because he got crazy speed. And he will go, he'll jump up and go get it. And he got that, that physicality. So you, if you like add that to what we have, you add that to a Rashad Bateman, add that to a Hollywood Brown, add that to a Mark Andrews, add that for Lamar Jackson. Why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Now, again, <laughs> I know some people get so mad at me when I say this, but I'm not trying to get anybody excited. I'm not trying to get anybody overhyped or anything like that. How you choose to feel, that's on you. If you want to get hyped about thinking about the possibilities of one DK Metcalf for this Ravens offense, by all means, go ahead. If you don't want to get hyped thinking about the possibilities of DK Metcalf in this offense, by all means, don't go ahead. The choice is completely up to you. I'm just here to inform you of what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, now, I know... Whenever we talk about the Ravens potentially adding a wide receiver, whether we talked about it through the draft or whether we talk about it for a trade, a lot of people say the same thing. And I can understand why they say this. They say, man, if the Ravens add a wide receiver via trade, even if they draft them early, they're not going to use them. They're not going to use them. This offense, they're not going to use the wide receiver. He's going to come here. Career is going to be wasted. Well, I say to you this, and that's a legitimate response. That's a legitimate feeling. Who are the wide receivers that the Ravens used the most last year when they were healthy? Obviously, Hollywood. Hollywood, number one. Mark Andrews, too. That's, yeah, they, they invested a lot of money in him, right? Um, early on, it was Sammy Watkins, but then he got hurt. 
Then who, who, who came through after that? Who got inserted in, into the lineup after that? It was Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman. They used Rashad Bateman more than James Prochet. They used Rashad Bateman more than Devin Duvernay. It was Rashad Bateman. And they, they actually should have used him even more than they did use him. But my point is what the, where the Ravens' true investments are, where their real investments are, that's what they're going to use. That's what they're going to use. So if they were to acquire a DK Metcalf, they would have no choice but to use him. No choice. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans, the other argument, which I, which I can completely understand, is, is the guy who we don't talk about. We don't talk about G. Rowe, no. Oh, we talk about him now, though. But Greg Roman. They say, man, it's Greg Roman offense. It's DK Metcalf would just, he would vanish here. He would disappear here. So, I can see what you're saying. But my counter to that, my, it, it's more so my hopeful counter to that. It's what I'm hoping for. Is that with an addition of a DK Metcalf, um, that they could do what they had been doing last year with really opening up the passing game, but he could open it up that much more. He could open it up that much. Because, like, really think about it. And again, I, I keep getting reminded of Kerry Dixon who they just added as an assistant QB coach. Um, and he used to coach wide receivers at Georgia Tech. And so, I mean, Notre Dame. Georgia Tech or Notre Dame? I forget which one. Anyway, he used to be a wide receiver coach in college. And he helped change his most recent uh, school from them being like an option-based offense to a more pro-spread type of offense. So I, I really think, and I'm hoping, that, I, I, but I do think the Ravens are trying to sort of step up the passing game. We saw flashes last year. We did. But I think the Ravens may be taking that and trying to really expand on that. And if they are really trying to add a significant wide receiver, like we've been hearing and stuff, we'll see. But if they're trying to add a significant wide receiver, that will let me know that they're not done. They're not done with the offense, that they're still trying to make tweaks to it. And, and even still, even with... Yeah, again, y'all saw the impact of a T. Martin. Y'all saw the impact of a Keith Williams. You saw their immediate impact with the Ravens wide receivers. You saw it like that. It was almost like night and day from 2020 to 2021. Now, there were still some issues now. There certainly were, but you saw a huge improvement. And again, I, I still do think that Greg Roman... Those cheeks are getting sweaty because he is on a type of a hot seat. He's on a type of a hot seat. But again, they, you don't bring in guys to help somebody where they're weak at if that person isn't under pressure. So, yeah, that's be, that'll be something to look out for, too. But with a DK Metcalf, it would just just really help this Ravens team so much. So much. Now... I know there another Ravens fans response is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, he only throws to Hollywood. Lamar Jackson, he only throws to Mark Andrews. Lamar Jackson don't even hardly get those other guys a shot. And yeah, the majority of his targets do go to uh, 89 and 5. They certainly do. No argument on that one. And that is something that we want Lamar Jackson to do a much better job of is really spreading that ball around. Because if you can really spread that ball around, then you can make other guys more, much more significant threats. And that'll allow you to really open up the offense, open up the field and just make everybody's job that much easier. But you, let me know if you think if Lamar Jackson is asking for somebody, if Lamar Jackson is requesting somebody. If he's openly, publicly, because he knows he knows anything that he says on Twitter, anything that he says, period, is going to be out there in the public. It is going to be out there in the public. So if he's openly requesting, hey, DK Metcalf, slide. You think that if you see number 14 on the field or whatever his number would be, you think Lamar Jackson ain't going to look his way? And I think that Lamar Jackson, they would try to establish trust early. Now, you see Lamar Jackson is offseason. Who's he been training with? See Lamar Jackson out there with Rashad Bateman. You see Lamar Jackson out there with James Prochet. And those are guys who he should be giving more opportunities to them as well. 
And him building up that trust with those guys, that would help his that will help his game that much more. That'll take his game to a whole nother level. Oh, another thing that would take his game to a whole nother level. Two things. We talked about both of these before, but just thinking about if Lamar adds that to his repertoire, throwing guys open. So not waiting until they're open to throw it, but throwing guys open. That would be saying that's on the receiver, too. But also them, them little timing routes, too. And the jump balls in the end zone, the little fade routes. So adding those, those three things, oof, it would just do wonders. It would do wonders. And then, I mean, the play calling got something to do with it, too. But Lamar, he, he got a lot to do with it as well. So, again, Lamar got some ways that he could step up his game. Um, but you, you adding a DK Metcalf, that would certainly make uh, his job a lot easier. That would make Hollywood's job a lot easier. That would make Rashad Bateman's job a lot easier. That would make Mark Andrews' job a lot easier. And isn't that the goal? Shouldn't that be the goal? I feel like the, I, I, whenever I hear Ravens fans say, oh, no, we got, enough, we got enough already. We got enough weapons already. We drafted the most wide receivers in the past couple years. We got enough weapons already. Whenever I hear that, I feel like a lot of Ravens fans, they just... They don't want to make Lamar Jackson's job easier. When, like, if you are a contractor, if you're a contractor and you got to work on this construction project um, and you need to hire guys to help build whatever site you're trying to build, you're trying to build, say you're trying to build a library, just using that as an example. So you're a contractor, you got hired to build a library. And you need to hire workers. Um, say, for instance, you got five workers. And those workers are straight. They are good enough to get the job done. They're good enough to finish the job. Um, but is your work really, are you really excelling at that library? In the jobs that they've completed in the past, have they really helped you take the past libraries and past buildings over the top? What if you found, like, you got five workers now, but what if you had another worker that you were like, oh, man, that guy, he would really help me a lot. He would help make the job easier for the guys that I have already. Oh, man. Would you be like, you know what? No, I don't need to hire him. Yeah, he's got a good resume. Yeah, he's helped uh, do nice libraries in the past and nice buildings in the past. But, you know, no, we don't need to hire him. You're crazy if you wouldn't. Why not? Yeah, your guys that you have now have been enough, but y'all haven't really accomplished too much. And you and shouldn't you always be looking to, to accomplish more? To get better at your craft? Well, at your site. <laughs> but anyway, my point, I know that story went a little bit left, but my point is with a DK Metcalf, the quality's there, man. It's there. Is he a top five receiver in the league? No. Is he an established wide receiver in the league? Yep. He sure is. He certainly is. And, and he will do a lot for this Ravens offense. It will be hard for them to take him off the field because, you know, Ravens going to want to run the ball too. DK Metcalf is physical. Uh, so he would be out there blocking. And then he would also be out there catching passes too. So he could do more than one thing. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's what it's about, right? The more you can do, right? Um, but for me, again, it's a no-brainer. Now, another question I hear, another sort of um, rebuttal that I hear about the Ravens possibly adding DK Metcalf. Contract time. DK Metcalf, he's in the last year of his deal. Why would the Ravens give up draft assets or draft capital, blah, 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 to get DK Metcalf when he's in the last year of his deal? Go all in. Go all in for your quarterback. Show your quarterback that you're willing. Go all in for him. That's it. Deal with the contract stuff later. Go all in for your quarterback. Worst case scenario, if the Ravens were to acquire DK Metcalf. Worst case scenario for them. If they acquire DK Metcalf, worst case scenario, he helps out this offense. And then you can't come to a contract extension with him. Then you, you get the little comp pick or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Best case scenario, he helps out the offense a lot. And you come to a contract extension with him. So you would have him, uh, you would have him, Hollywood, and Bateman. If you came to a contract extension with him, you would have him, Hollywood, and Bateman for this year and next year. 
Because Hollywood's fifth-year option is next year. Bateman, of course, still on his rookie deal, and then DK Metcalf will be extended. But, of course, I would think, I, I don't think if the Ravens traded for him that they would give him an extension right away. No, I don't think that. I think that they, he would have to prove it. He had to prove, all right, what, what you going to do in this offense? Because they ain't just going to acquire no wide receiver. All right, extension time. No, I don't see them doing that. But, I mean, that would be the goal, though. Eventually, like trading, if you're trading second round pick, first round pick, third round, whatever you're trading, your goal would be to end up signing to a contract extension eventually. So, but the way that I feel about it, you can worry about all that stuff later. Worry about all the money and all the contracts and all that stuff later. And I, I see a lot of people going back and forth. Oh, if they traded for DK Metcalf, what about Hollywood? What would you do with Hollywood? How would you treat Hollywood? Would you keep him? Would you trade him? What would you do? Me, honestly, I want to keep them both. I want, I would want to have all three: a DK Metcalf, a Hollywood Brown, a Rashad Bateman. And I know first thing people are gonna say, "Who are about the cap? The cap engraving? What are you talking about? What paying all that money to wide receivers? Please, <laughs> it's not happening, buddy. Why can't we have a Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey situation, but on offense? Why can't we have that?" The Ravens traded for, they had, they had Marlon Humphrey, who they drafted. The Ravens have Hollywood and Bateman, who they drafted. They traded for Marcus Peters. And guess what they did? They signed Marcus Peters to a contract extension. So they had two top corners, and then they end up signing Marlon Humphrey too. So they had two top corners on contract extensions. But whenever you talk about the Ravens doing that on offense, a lot of people shake their heads. Like it's just, oh no, that's tasteless, that's terrible, that's bad cap strategy. Why would you pay two wide receivers? Hmm. Is it? You can do it on defense, but you can't do it on offense. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, Ravens, go get me DK Metcalf and go get him now.